reason why the narcissist wants to hurt you as much as they can. The reason why they want you to experience mental suffering and distress. The reason why they want you to experience highly unpleasant physical sensations. narcissist will go out of their way to hurt you. They will do whatever they can think of to hurt you. If they think it's going to cause you pain, they will do it. Regardless of the consequences, regardless of the damage it may cause, They will devalue and degrade you. Use insults or backhanded compliments. Call you names. Publicly humiliate you. Triangulate you with other people. They will do whatever they think will hurt you the most. As though they have a vendetta against you. As though they are trying to get revenge. Even though you may not have done anything to them. Even though you may have tried everything in your power to make them happy. They still seem to be extremely bitter and resentful towards you. Though no amount of pain and distress they cause to you could ever be enough. As though they want your entire life experience to revolve around mental suffering and distress. They will waste years of their life and even remove themselves from their own path and purpose just so they can focus their time on hurting you and sabotaging your life. Hurting you has more importance to them than their own lives or families. And that is why they will go out of their way to get to you while neglecting other parts of their lives which should be more significant. Their main priority in life is to hurt you. To make you experience pain. They want you to suffer. They want you to be subjected to something bad or unpleasant. They want you to endure everything they throw at you. So they can see your health gradually deteriorate. Until you become less and less like the person you used to be. The reason why the narcissist wants to hurt you is because they want you to submit to them. They want to subject you to a particular process, treatment or condition so that you will then accept or yield to their force or authority. They like the feeling of feeling superior to you or feeling as though they are above you because secretly they feel as though you are superior to them but they don't want you to realise that. So they engage in these games or tactics where they do everything they can to put you beneath them. And there are no limits to what they will do to you. As time goes by, the abuse must escalate. It may start off with verbal abuse, but soon enough it will become physical. They will normalise abusive behaviour. They will make you feel as though you deserve to be treated that way. They will make you hate yourself. They will make you feel as though you should just accept the situation rather than trying to fight it. But none of this really has anything to do with you personally. 
They don't even know who you really are. All they see is this image of what they think you might be. Someone who is more intelligent or more attractive than they are. Someone who is more successful. Someone who is just better or greater in some way. And you can instantly tell when someone sees you in this way because they will then try to put you beneath them. They will insult you or try to make you feel less than who you really are. They will be indifferent to you. They will treat you with contempt. Whatever it takes to make you feel less than who you really are. Because that's how they feel whenever they are around you. They feel completely worthless and insignificant. So to feel as though they are worth something, they have to put you beneath them. They have to bring you down. And by doing that, they then establish some level of significance. Now they are worthy of your attention. Now they are important. Because they've just caused damage to you. They've just broken you down to the point where you have no choice but to notice them. They will put you in a state of fear or shame just to get your attention. Because they feel like they can't get your attention any other way. They feel as though they are not worthy of positive attention. As though they are not intelligent or attractive. As though they are not successful. They are very insecure. They are not confident about themselves. But they view you as someone who is better or greater than them. Someone who is valuable, significant and powerful. So they want your attention you stand out among the crowd. Your attention is more valuable to them than anyone else's. Which is why they will go out of their way to get it. But if they know that they're not going to get your attention by impressing you or being kind or generous, then they're going to hurt you. And not only that, but they're really going to beat you down because they feel as though you've rejected them. Because they feel as though you didn't validate their false self or the illusion that they were trying to portray. And they see nothing wrong with it. They see it as though you deserve the abuse. You deserve to be punished. Because by not wanting them, you have deeply offended them. You have made them feel completely worthless. So now they're going to do whatever they can to make you feel the same way. To make you feel like you ain't shit. And while it may make them feel a little bit better in that moment, soon enough they go back to feeling miserable and dissatisfied until they have to abuse you again and again. It just escalates more and more until they're doing things that they never thought they would do. And it's all just to make them feel better about themselves. Everything they do 
is just to try to make them feel good. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsforevercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.